us on the spot, Brother Greg. Never dreamed of being up here tonight. But we praise the Lord tonight because we know he's good. We know he's a deliverer. I'd love to shout all night, but how many knows tonight that when the Holy Ghost enters into a building, that it comes more, it comes to do more than to just make us feel good. The Holy Ghost don't come to just push our buttons to make us feel good. But when the anointing of God enters into a building, it comes to do a work. It comes to set you free. It comes to deliver you. It comes to let your mind go. It comes to give you a liberty. Or when the devil says there's no liberty. You see, tonight, or oh, while everything looks good, and some of us feel good, and there's some that's in this building that's chained up, that's bound down, that's in the pit, who can't see no light. And while I stand here, and everything looks fine with me, it's not always been that way. You see, uh, my grandfather raised me, and at the age of about 15, uh, I began to do IV drugs. Uh, by the time I was 18, uh, I would come home at night, uh, and I would have needle marks uh, up and down my arm. I couldn't bend my arm. I was bruised up so bad. Oh, uh, God. Uh, and it didn't seem that anything uh, would ever get any better. It seemed like the devil had me uh, right where he wanted me. At the age of 19, uh, I began to robbing and stealing. And I don't mean I was stealing lawnmowers. Uh, I was walking into the stores uh, uh, throwing guns in the clerk's faces, uh, uh, taking their money until they said we gotta get him off the street. Uh, at the age of 19, uh, uh, seven state troopers uh, uh, surrounded me uh, in that little town of Hyden uh, in eastern Kentucky. Kentucky, and they said we got him. We've apprehended him, and they said we're going to take you down to the Kentucky State Reformatory. And when we get you there, we will reform you. We will fix you. But they kept me seven years in that joint, and they couldn't reform me. They couldn't change me. They couldn't fix me. Oh God! I say it's coming, some. Somebody. I said it's coming. Oh God. After about seven years, I got out. Grandpa passed on. Oh God. I went back to my mama's house, which was the biggest dealer's house. And all three counties surrounded. They opened out this door. They opened out that door. My mama opened the door. I found me in the floor with a needle stuck in my arm. She said, What are you doing? I flow, I got run out of that house. I found me a Christian. I said, I need help. I need help. I went down to Rock House Church on a, Wednesday, on a Sunday morning. I got down and I began to pray. I never will forget the mother of that church and laid down in the floor beside me. And she said, listen, I wish I could wrap my arms around you and shield you from the world. But I can't. It'll take God. I prayed for a while. And when I got up, I felt somewhat better. Somewhat better. You see, there's your problem. There's too many leaving feeling somewhat better. How many in this house knows that when the Holy Ghost uh, has its way in your life, uh, you'll feel more than somewhat better. You'll be more than somewhat delivered. I didn't get what I needed because I left that church house on Sunday morning. And from Sunday to Wednesday, I got high about three more times. I went back to the same dope house and the same dope demons was there. Said, here, guess what? I didn't have the power to resist. Ah, oh, but Wednesday's coming. Look at your neighbor and say, Wednesday's on its way. 
I said Wednesday's on its way. I went back on Wednesday. I said, Lord, one more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. I wish somebody said, Lord, one more time. Well, I got down at that altar. Oh, Pearl Lewis, I believe you remember him. He, they sung three songs. They took up prayer requests. The little attic got down at the altar at the prayer request. I started praying. Uh-huh. Oh, they sung about three more songs. Everybody went back. Oh, but the little dope head was still on his knees. Uh-huh. Oh, the preacher preached. The little attic was still on his knees. Oh, this was my prayer. I said, God, I don't know if you're real. I don't know if you're up there. Our grandpa said you was. Oh, but if you can do it, do it for me. I'm going to give you this change. I don't want to change. I love my dope. I love my life. I love to steal them cars. I love to rob them stores. I don't want to change, but I know I'm going to die. Oh, and as I begin to pray, the devil knelt down beside me. He said, listen here, you little dope head, you don't belong in this building. There's nobody in heaven. You're talking to yourself. There's 200 people behind you. They all think you a fool. Get up. Get up. Get up. I said, devil, I'll get up in a few minutes. Oh, but before I do, I'm about to find out. Can he do it? Or can he do it? Can he deliver me? Or can he deliver me? Can he touch me? Or can he not touch me? Is he real? Or is he not real? Oh, God. I got to praying. Oh, about that time. He must have shot an arrow straight out of heaven. It struck me in my heart. And I laid it down. And I'm telling you, when I laid it down, there was something that I couldn't see began to rain down out of heaven above. It struck me in the top of my head. It ran down my back. I said it ran down my back. My sin rolled out for me. My addiction rolled away from me. Oh, God. Now I got power. I went back to that same dope house. Honey, but it wasn't Sunday no more. I felt like Matt Dillon when I walked in that building. I know you know who Matt Dillon is. This time, I had power. The same dope was there. The same temptation was there. But guess what? I was endued. I had power. I said power. Can you get that power? I said you need that power. I'm going to let Linda sing us tonight. I'm going to tell you, the problem is, uh, we get enough power to shout a little bit. We get enough power to speak in tongues a little bit. We get enough power to do all this stuff. But for some reason, we don't got enough power to resist. Honey, if you can't resist, then you ain't got it like you need it. <laughs> 